Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, new here. Hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on the way down there and give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So today's video is talking about bullying and how I coped. Now, I, I was bullied in secondary school. I was bullied online a few years ago. I've been bullied on and off through my entire life. So let's start off with adult bullying. I did do a video a few years ago talking about my high school bullying experience. I'll link that up there on the iCard. So let's talk about adult bullying. So I was trolled for around two and a half years by the same group of four people. Now I'm not going to mention names because I've done live streams with these people in the past trying to confront what's actually the, what the problem is going to be. And if you want to see that, I will try and remember to put it on the iCard. <laughs> Lots of recommendations today. So the trolling started around the time I moved out of my drug dealing landlord, Faith landlord, and I moved out of that place. Why it started, I don't know. I wish I knew why. But these people were taking every little thing I said or did and ripping it to pieces, making up stories, saying I meant other things than what I actually meant, posting it all over Reddit under illness, on an illness faker's web uh, form. I think that's what it was called. I don't use Reddit, so I don't know. But it really affected me. Now, for the first few months of going on, I was living at my grandparents, and I tried to kill myself. I went down to the kitchen in my grandparents' house, found a pot of my grandpa's anxiety meds, propanolol, and I took all of them. I never got help for that overdose. Propanolol is quite a dangerous drug to overdose on. I did once and it made me hallucinate. So if you want me to tell that story, let me know in the comments. But the trolling I went through was really serious. I can't even explain how much damage it did to my mental health. It was some of the hardest times of my life. It made me miserable. I couldn't post a YouTube video without it being taken out of context. It just, it wasn't a great time. And I hate looking back at it now because there's nothing I could have done to make it stop. I tried going down the route of police. So let's talk a bit about how I coped afterwards. Looking back on it now, I can deal with it a lot better than I used to. Honestly, there's probably still accounts going that slag me off. I just couldn't care less anymore. It used to make me suicidal. Which is, it made everything I do seem so meaningless. I almost quit doing YouTube because of it. which I'm so glad I didn't. Coping with the bullying at the time was hard. Personally, I think the best advice I can give if you're being bullied is report it. Report the accounts to social media, report it to the police. But my best advice is to never be ashamed of who you are, what you have to give, Please don't end your life because you're being bullied. Because I promise you this, it does stop. There is hope. And you can, you will get through it. So, some of us on how to cope with bullying is one, bullying is a bid for attention. So try walking away or ignoring your bully instead of reacting or bullying back. Two, stay calm and assert yourself. Three, laugh instead of showing fear or discomfort to you, or discomfort that your bully wants you wants and expects. Four, tell somebody. The best thing you can do is speaking out against it. Speak or don't suffer in silence. I say this a lot. Nothing will change if you don't speak up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.